Hello boyos, Rich Boy J here back in with another video. First want to start things off by saying very special thanks to Perfectly Legitimate Name for the $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much. So did it even before the stream started, I certainly appreciate that. So in case you're wondering what the heck we're going to be working on today, I have some pretty cool stuff that we are going to have to try to accomplish. So I finally built a second one of these bad boys right here. There's two of them. Well, this is the second one. It might be the first one. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyways, um, I'm going to basically be attaching these to either side of this. So it'll go somewhere around here. And uh, we're going to figure out exactly how this is going to work today. So you guys will get to join me in the process of figuring this out. So either way, what's going on, guys? We got James Mogan and Bomb 247 Lego Empire Productions Cool Beans 2299 Din 80241 and bomb 247 Did i already say that i don't know jet bricks we got fet bricks garrett is in the house Creepercraft gaming carter deering what's up boyos it is 7 23 in texas so uh yeah let's get this thing started the only thing that kind of sucks is maybe i can turn on the light over here it's kind of dark in that corner for me at least that'll work a little bit but yeah, how's everyone doing on this Friday night? This Friday night, gonna stream on YouTube. Yeah, I know how we do. Gonna build with the crew this Friday night. It's gonna be killer. What well, rhymes with Star Killer? Hey, notice me, pig, cow, rabbit. This is me noticing you. Appreciate that blue raccoon. How many hours have I worked on this so far? It's incalculable at this point. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. My day's going pretty well, that one guy. So that's going to be... What's going on, Diversion Con Vidal? How many bricks do you think are in this mock? I have no idea. I don't know, maybe 50 thou? Maybe, I have no idea. Garrett back again on his, on his nonsense. This is why you're not a mod. Jay, you should come to one of my football games. I'm pretty sure you live pretty far from me. What position do you play? Jay, on Capital Supremacy, it's insane. You get 40,000. You got to get 400,000 for a vehicle. What is Capital for Supremacy? Let's start there, and then we can figure out what the heck you're talking about. What do you think of the new LEGO Star Wars reveals? Yes, I can finally talk about those. Oh my God. So I'm gonna drop a video on that tomorrow. I didn't do it today because I was gonna do this today. But um, yeah, we can finally talk about those set reveals from Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. So um, let's talk about just Episode Nine in general right now. You guys, most of you, know that I've not been thrilled with the marketing so far um, but I've made a decision I've made a decision to try to be as positive about the film until it comes out when it comes out I will watch it and I will assess it as it is but at this point um, I I guess the way I look at it is this is the last like Star Wars season we're gonna have for a while since the next trilogy of films don't start until, what, 2022? It's like a three-year gap. So, why spend that time depressed, sad, loathing the, um, the inevitable film that's going to come out? So, what that means for me is I'm just going to try to enjoy it up until that point. Like, whether or not I like it, the film has been made, the film will come out, and it will, it's gonna happen. So, 
I would try to be as enthusiastic about it um, for my own well-being. I realized recently I had been really just kind of down on Star Wars and not generally not very happy. Like I, anytime I saw anything Star Wars related, it made me kind of depressed. So I was like, okay, let's. This is not good. I don't want to feel this way about Star Wars. So in the meantime. We're going to try to remain optimistic and positive. So with that being said, we have sets coming out next week, Triple Force Friday. Um, a lot of you have come to expect a Force Friday stream. We did one for, I guess we've only done one of them so far. We did a solo Friday stream last year that was really fun. So um, I want to do a Triple Force Friday stream. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do one. I'll be able to let you guys know something more specific in the coming, I guess, at some point next week, I believe. But, um, yeah, so if it can work out, um, I'll buy all the sets. Garrett will probably be over here as well, and we will build them on stream. If you guys are planning on picking up any sets on Triple Force Friday, you can join us. We'll, of course, have guests, and it'll be a good old time. Hold on, let me go ahead and block uh, Mark Parisher for spewing nonsense in the chat. I want you to think about what you said. It says, Jay, I play wide receiver and safety. I'm just up in the woodlands. That's pretty far, man. I live in Cyprus. What's up, Spinjitsu Brick Productions? He says, I'm so happy you're streaming. I wasn't having a great day, but your stream makes me feel good. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Glad I can do that for you. What's up, Evergreen VX? And what, what is, what's going on, Brickster S Steven? Why do you have so many porgs? Um, they make me happy. They make me feel like life is worth living. I'll make sure I pick up a set or two for the stream. There we go. I think you all should. We should all celebrate Triple Force Friday together. I would love to get, like, an understanding of, I guess, how you guys feel about the sets in general, but anyone who is planning on picking up sets on Triple Horse Friday, what are you going to pick up? And if you're um, not picking up any sets, I'd like to know, what, why are you not picking them up? Oh my. With your Falcon, do you only do PayPal payments for instructions? Yes. Houston is so polluted, you can walk outside with a white shirt and you'll walk back an hour with a... I mean, that's not true, but... Whatever. Why would you say something like that? You don't get to openly... Actually, that's a that's worth a time out. You don't get to openly bash Texas and the, Houston in the chat. This is a zero-tolerance stream. I'm ruling this, this stream with an iron fist. Hug says he's going to get the Pisana speeder. Are you going to pick up some... Uh, jet trooper in the army. Also, I'm picking up Kylo shuttle. I'm gonna get the speeder set with Ray and probably the Mandalorian set. I mean, so I'm looking forward to getting the figures in the Mandalorian set, but I'm not looking forward to another uh, ATST man. I just I don't want an ATST. I don't want another one. Do I need to do it again? Do I need to give you guys my signature? catchphrase if anyone can guess why i'm tired why i don't really want another atsd i'd love to see it in the chat i have a cousin that came from texas and i'm from washington he loved the nature kylo shuttle is the only thing that is worth getting to me oh huh, interesting Exactly, Sellout Studios. Give me something new! Also because it can't fit two pilots. He says, at least it's not as bad as the First Order ATST. Is it even... Can you even compare them? Like, I mean, obviously, the First Order one's missing a head, so that sucks. But, I mean, in t for me, they're kind of on the same level because... I mean, it's just the same old run-of-the-mill Lego ATST design. Lego ATSTs are starting to get like snow speeders for me. 
Jay, I used up all the rest of my water sets today. I'm currently out. Wow. How do your fingers feel? Give me something new. I mean, ATSC isn't a remake. Let's not, it's, it's not a remake. It has red legs. It's a special forces ATST. It says that should make they should make another. I guess you mean first order ATST, and it should be just ahead. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Grand Admiral Thrawn says I am the Grand Admiral himself. All right. It says is the ATST overpriced in volume because the part value is there? How much is it? Forty bucks. If it's forty bucks, that's that's to be expected. Why didn't he help you out? Oh, yeah, I guess he helped you out with the studs. Okay, that's cool. Gee, I'm disappointed the Y-Wing doesn't have those pieces in dark bluish gray. The pictures totally make it look like that. Oh, that sucks. $50? What? $50? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I'm working on a mock of Vietnam. I'm using the First Order instead of America. Okay. Well, that's disappointing, Trevor. What? So, is it just... Is it the arch piece with, like, is it the the standard arch piece that has, like, the plate sticking out of the back of it? 540 pieces? Oh, okay. Do you guys think you could customize the Y-Wing to be a Republic Y-Wing? I mean, you could. You would just need a lot more extra pieces. Pasana figs are so good, but not the actual set. I'm actually pretty excited for the uh, Pasana set. Jalen, can I humbly ask you for a stud? I'm fresh out, man. I would empty fresh out of studs. If I had them, I'd give it to you. I promise. I promise. Hey, shout out to Spinjitsu Brick Productions for the 199 dono. He says, when will you invite guests on a stream again? Great question. I don't know. I don't know if I can still do that. I mean, worst case, I can probably figure out a way to do it. But last time I did something like that, YouTube was letting me know that they were going to stop the support for having Google Hangouts directly through streaming. So I don't know, honestly. I'll probably do that. I think if I when I built the turret, I'll probably do that. That'd be a good stream. Yeah, ask me again tomorrow, man. Carter asks, "What's who's my favorite NFL team player? Favorite team, Houston Texans. Favorite player, Deshaun Watson. Yoda set is funny yet creepy at the same time. Yeah, that Yoda set will stare a hole into your soul. I don't know if you already answered this, but question, will you be getting the new ISD? Uh, yeah, I will. It's fine, J.I., I get it. What did I do? What did I do? Are you going to make a giant Snoke throne room? Yes. I'm going to make my boy Big Snoke. That's what we call him in the hood, Big, Big Snoke. J.I. got twist, by the way. Nice. Will we ever get a, a Fives hair reveal so I can see what they look like? My mom says I'll get some of the new sets Friday. The, which ones do you want? They should make a UCS Snoke. A Snoke contraction figure would have been really useful for that. Also, bro, I got some awesome news on Camino. I'd love to share with you later. Uh, I guess you can't divulge that information publicly. All right. Well, I'll, I'll just assume that they look good. You got to grow your hair out like old rich boy. It says, what's going to happen to your intro song when you turn 25? That's a great question. I don't know. Maybe I'll just delete my channel. <laughs> hey, shout out to Spinjitsu Brick Productions again. He says, what do you think of my sig fig? It looks good. I can't tell what's written on the shirt. Hopefully it's something appropriate. I'm a guy who's 25. Each day I... I don't know. I'll have to come up with another jingle. I'm a guy that's 25. Each 
day I feel alive. I like the sequels. I'm rich, boy, Jay. Come on, I love Texas. It's my favorite state. You don't gotta time me out. This is a no-nonsense stream. This is a zero-tolerance stream. It says it's top secret until I get the things in my hand. Okay, fair enough. It <laughs> I'm a guy that's 25. Each day I slowly die. Life isn't worth living. I'm gonna kill myself. That'll be my new intro. Caillou theme song for life. I'm in Texas. Make that the intro for your last video on YouTube. <laughs> that would be so depressing. I'm a guy that's 25. If you haven't already shown the boyo some love, hit that like. Yes, please. Show your boy some love. I'm a guy that's 26. Each day I watch Netflix. I like Lego Porgs. I'm rich, boy, Jay. I'm a guy that's 27. Nothing good runs with seven. So I'll finish the song right now. Yes, Finjitsu Brick Productions. Do like a button countdown. What do you mean? I'm a guy that's 27. I'm chilling in heaven. Yo, I'll be making videos from beyond the grave. Call me Palpatine. Oof. What's your favorite song? I don't know, honestly. I didn't think about it. Count down, then we all hit the like button. Or you can just hit it right now. Do I like the new Jet Trooper? Yeah, it looks cool. I want me some Jet Boys. Did you get a my two ninety nine super chat? I did not get a two ninety nine super chat. Appreciate that shy time is my brick time. Week seven of building a clone base in heaven. Hey guys, it's Angel Boy J. Rich Angel J. Today we're going to be building a clone base from heaven. Yeah, this is a big building. I'm a guy that's 29, and I have a broken spine. I'm paralyzed. I'm rich boy J. What's up, B-Fab? I found your account and suggestions when I was watching David make Kashyyyk. That's cool. What video was uh, suggested? Was it Crate? Are you still redoing the sides for the turret? I'm not redoing it for the turret. I'm redoing it for these things what's up catalyst bricks i'm a guy who's 28 whose life is in more pieces than crate oh are you actually 28 garrett 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 Playing Halo 5 right now, boss. I'm a guy that's 28. If you're joining the stream, it's not too late. No, I'm 22. Oh, okay. I'm a guy that's 22. Each day I eat some food. Rest in peace, Vardos. When your super chat doesn't get read by Jay. I didn't get the super chat, I promise. I've read every single super chat that has come through. 
I'm a guy that's 25, gonna build a hyperdrive. It wasn't my fault the empire broke it. Wasn't my fault. Then you should look into the auto-generate subtitles for your, intro song, for your intro song. It's not PG. Yeah, I've had a lot of people tell me about that. Um, I don't know what to do about it. What do you guys suggest I do? Can I, like, turn off subtitles? Can I, like, make that not an option for people to look at? She'd be like, I'm a guy that doesn't die. I am the Senate. I'm she Palpatine. Ditch the song. Wow. We got ourselves a hater in the chat. Where are my 2 by 4 bricks? If you don't like the new intro song, you're not a boy L. It's that simple. Do you think Lego will ever name Palpatine Sheev on the box? No. No. Shiv. Bro, Caillou is awesome. I'm thinking about just making Caillou mocks from now on. I'm kind of getting bored with Star Wars, but I think Caillou mocks could be really fun. Where are my 2x4 bricks? Hold on one sec, guys. Do you like NFL, college, or high school football more? I live in Katy, so I'm legally obliged to like high school football more. Um, one, thanks for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm all about the NFL, though. I don't really enjoy college football, to be honest. High school football, I was really never into because the high school I went to didn't even have a football team. But I mean, I watched my brother. He plays high school football, so that is the extent of my high school football experience. Appreciate that great Gabriel Sin 117. You liar! You turn her against me! I have a question. This one's this one's gonna be a deep question, but it must be asked. Have any of you boyos had one of your friends turn the love of your life against you? Hey Jay, can we get a quick you mean quiet girl? Quiet girl. No! Come back. That's my Ray impression. My young Ray impression. You turn her against me! Yes, happens all the time. Dang, Hux. I'm sorry, man. Jay, do an impression video. I need to do that. Yeah, I got you on that ASMR, my guy. All right, see ya, Republic Lego. Jay, you always said if you get a $1,000 donation, you would do a backflip. If I ever get that money to give away, I will put that to the test. All right. If you want to see me paralyzed, donate $1,000, bro. You turn her against me! I hate you! You underestimate my power. 
Bro, I'm going to put together some Harry Potter sets. Got that Patronus set and Hagrid's Hut. Nice. Yeah, honestly, guys, friends are overrated. You got to stay one deep. Think about all the people that we look up to. Luke Skywalker didn't have any friends. Yoda didn't have any friends. Anakin didn't have... Well, I guess Anakin did have a, at least one friend. You have done that yourself. What's up, Leonardo Sarava? Sarava? You have done that yourself. Let her go, Anakin. Let her go. No, seriously, let her go. I think she's choking. Oh my god, Anakin, she's pregnant. Let her go. Anakin, what are you doing? The whole reason you joined the dog side was to save her. Now you're just going to choke her out? You're supposed to bring air to her lungs. That's because they lived in the middle of nowhere. In the city of Townsville. Is there any store opening at midnight on Triple Force Friday? From what I've seen, no. Which kind of sucks. Still waiting on that pregnant Padme figure. Bro, that's my top one mini figures <laughs> that I want to see made. Lego has no excuse not to make it. Vaccines don't kill children, Anakin. I mean, Karen, Anakin kills children. Only my new powers can save you. Your new powers? This should have been her response. Why were those lines deleted from the final movie? I don't know. I have no idea. All right, see ya, Hunter. Take care, man. Your new empire. Your new empire. I have bought peace, justice, freedom, and security to my new empire. Darth Karen is the new Star Wars villain. No manager is safe. I want to see a Star Wars film just about Dexter Jetster handling customers, and Karen would, of course, be one of them. Favorite minifig from the first wave of Rise of Skywalker sets? It's either Poe or Finn. The new Poe and new Finn both look great. The new Rey would look great if she had actual, like, sleeves, but I don't think I'll see that in my lifetime, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Have you ever gotten sand in your teeth? Does she have shark teeth? I don't know why Anakin was so obsessed with Padme. She didn't even have shark teeth. Like, I don't get it. Why was he so in love with her? I can never find myself that obsessed with a girl who doesn't even have shark teeth. Says, whenever you're cooking something, do you ever swing around the cooking spoon like a lightsaber waiting for something to boil? No. 
It's not a bad idea, though. What's up, Jedi Bob? He says he has to work tomorrow. Ew, lame. Because she's Natalie Portman, duh. I mean, yeah, she's Natalie Portman, but, like, find me the girl with the sharp teeth, all right? I'm the type of guy, if I walk into a bar, most guys are like, oh, like, who is the most attractive girl here? I'm just looking for the girl with the sharpest teeth. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. If she don't have sharp teeth, I don't want to talk to her. You feel me? Whenever you guys are looking at prospective partners, you have to consider what kind of child would I make with this person? Will that child have sharp teeth? Jay, when an Attack of the Clones discussion stream? <laughs> you want to talk about it since you recently watched it? That's a great question. I don't know when the next song is going to come out. I've been pretty busy lately with many things. Appreciate that, Several. Thank you, man. What even is Jedi Bob? Everyone always asks, what is Jedi Bob, but never, how is Jedi Bob? How tall is the build? Well, I'm six foot two. I don't know. I mean, the table might be like three feet tall. So this is probably like three feet tall. It feels taller than that. No, the table's, I don't know. It's a tall build. I did not see Rick Volt's dropship. I've seen the the guy who's working on it. Is it David? I've seen pictures from him. I haven't seen it completed, however. How do you feel about it? Is it good? Does it have sharp teeth? I thought you said you were 10 feet tall. I am 10 feet tall. Did I accidentally say 6 foot 2? That was, I make that mistake all the time. I don't know why. Don't you guys sometimes forget how tall you are? And no, I'm not bringing this to any conventions. So if you want to see it, you have to visit me at my home. I feel like your grandparent trying to guilt trip you into come visiting into coming to visit me. You want to see the build? Come to my house. It's okay, no sharp teeth though. Ugh. Why does nothing have sharp teeth anymore? What's a guy got to do to get some sharp teeth around here? Make a Fortnite mock. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Jay, do you have any pets? Do they have sharp teeth? No. I don't care about my pet having sharp teeth. I want my life partner to have sharp teeth what you're not bringing to any conventions why um the timing just isn't gonna work out by the time i'll be going to conventions it'll be a long time from now it says brickville's dropship is okay i see you guys aren't super thrilled about it what's what's wrong with it then I have an idea. Make Darth Maul's double bladed lightsaber like a big version of it, like a life size. Shout out to Vincent Comparetto for giving your boy a subscription. I'll never forget it. Mason's like, I'm about to end this man's whole career with the dropship. Yeah, Mason, put out some heat for us, bro. He says, <laughs> "Is Rich Girl J your girlfriend?" She said on Insta, "You guys hanged out." Um, no, I think she's. She's either my girlfriend or my sister. We haven't decided yet. All right, see you, Blue Raccoon. Ask a girl to bite your hand, then you will see just how sharp. That's a great question. That's a great way to get a girl. What's up, Matt Petro, Alabama? Oh my god, everyone always misconstrues that. Okay, if she's my girlfriend, she's not my sister. If she's my sister, she's not my girlfriend. We just haven't decided what we're gonna... This is a character that we're currently developing, guys. 
No, she would not be my girlfriend and my sister. What do I look like? Luke Skywalker to you? Come on, guys. Yo, man, it's Southern so bad by my house, and the whole sky is lightning. I'm scared of my mind. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, my God. No, I'm so misunderstood. Nobody understands me. At FBI. FBI has entered the chat. Hold on, I need to find a 2x4 plate. I'll be right back, guys. Hey, I asked this on this Matt this question on this live stream. Figured I could ask you your opinion. Should I do an episode 9 mock, Mandalorian, Jedi Fallen Order mock, Battlefront 2? I mean, that's a lot. I don't know. What do you want to do? If you're just asking what I would like to see, I'd say an episode 9 mock. Um, if it's, I mean, other than that, like, what are, what are you most interested in? Like, which one of those things are you most interested to experience? Appreciate that, Eric M. Thanks for the kind words, man. I try to contribute to the community. The um, mock showcase has been doing really well lately, so I'm very happy about that. Getting some builders, some exposure. Oh boy, SmackDown and Raw are getting a whole new makeover this week. I heard about that. SmackDown has become the flagship show on Fox. Raw is getting new stuff too. Really hope it feels like 2000s arena type. I want to go ahead and guess that it's probably not going to feel like that. But um, I'm definitely interested in seeing what new stuff they do with it. Jay, I live in Minnesota. You live so far away. I want to meet you. Um, where do you, you just say you live in Minnesota. Um, uh, if you ever go to like Brickworld, Chicago or something like that, that'd be probably the best way for you to meet me. I'm interested in all of them, but I'm also trying to figure out which one I have the most parts for. Um, I mean, I guess look at like the trailers and such and see what you think you can most realistically design and build. Yeah, I, don't, I guess, I mean, you you throw Star Destroyer in the title nowadays, and that's good enough for for a bunch of views, apparently. Holy crap, Matthew T. Thanks, man. I think it's hilarious. Your porgs look like super small children invested in the Lego Master building happening in front of them. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. Shout out to Matthew T. Holy crap. How many Legos do you have? I don't know, a lot. I can't count, dude. I mean, okay, let me rephrase that. I can count. I cannot count the amount of Lego pieces I have. I swear I can count, guys. But shout out to Matthew T. Jay, do you go to Star Wars Midnight Releases? You mean for the films or for, for like, Force Friday? Every, exactly. Every boyo can count. Hashtag Jay can count 2019. I swear. I swear I can count. A lot of people have seen me count. Ask my mom. She's seen me count plenty of times. The films. Um, I've never seen a film at midnight. I always so I always just try to see the film as early as possible, which is usually seven p.m. on the Thursday before. So I've never gone at midnight, but I, I usually I will see the film as early as I possibly can. I have no patience to wait for a Star Wars film. Amazing Spider-Man says, "Prove it." How about you count first, and then I'll tell you if it's correct. I just want to make sure you know how to count. What's up, JB? How you doing, bro? Okay, please don't creeper crap game. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Please don't. 
All right, good luck on your Spanish homework. Guys, do not spam the chat with numbers. Thank you, Jedi Bob. Are you an MCU fan? I'm a very casual MCU fan. It says, I'm at the premiere night. Same thing for me. I was too young to do it this year. Me and a friend saw Endgame at 11 premiere night, so I didn't get spoiled. So why 11? Why not do it? I mean, they do it. I saw Endgame at like 7 the day before. I don't know if you looked into it or make I don't know if they wouldn't do that in your area for whatever reason, but you can usually find like it, a movie at seven. It's not really not necessary to see the movie at midnight anymore, thankfully. Shout out to the Diamond King two thousand three extra. Couldn't get tickets for Arrow. Oh, okay, I see, I see. That's the other thing. I'll usually always buy the tickets as early as possible. Like, the moment I annu they announce them, I buy the tickets. You should use your custom Falcon for Star Killer of the Force. What do you think? I would love to do that. I just don't know if I have enough space for it. It's a big Falcon. Go to another country to see the movie as early as possible. Yeah, that's, that's, I guess, the ideal thing to do. If I were actually rich, I'd totally do that. And then I would spoil the movie on my uh, YouTube channel for all of you. Because I'm evil. I wouldn't actually do that. I woke up to my dad telling me tickets were on sale. And somehow I managed to get them before the servers crashed. Nice. What's up, Jaden Bencourt? I remember the TFA tickets sold out. Did they sell out, like, quickly? I feel like, I mean, my friend and I got our tickets pretty easily. I don't remember it being... I mean, but then again, I got them, like, as soon as I could, so that could be a thing. Oh, God. That's a super chat I'm not going to read. I'm back with some milk and cookies. What kind of cookies? Who is Terrence and why does he have your parts? When do Rise of Skywalker tickets go on sale? They haven't announced it yet. Oh, come on. You should make an area where Kylo's slapping Hux to the floor. I don't think he slaps him in The Force Awakens. What's up, Lee? How you doing, man? Thanks for the kind words. He says, I don't know, honestly, my grandma made them. Aw, look at him eating grandma's cookies. Sideburns. What's up, Michael English? How you doing, man? Grandma's cookies. Jay, I'm so confused as to how you messed the mountain up. You mean like, I mean, I didn't mess the mountain up per se. What I messed up was just forgetting to add this to it. If that's what you mean. I'm doing pretty good, man. So no one to SmackDown at the end of the night with the dark matches. It was Charlotte. So many people had already left the arena. I went up to see Charlotte up close in like the second row. Wow, I can't believe that many people left. Did they not know that there was a dark match? Or did they just not care? All right, see ya. And Taewon Wilson. Take care, man. What's up, rich girl, Jay? What draws you to spend a lot of time uh, building Lego? I just, li I just like it a lot. I just, it's what I love to do. When you love to do something, as much as I love to build with Lego, um, it's not hard to find time to work on it. I think I watched half the video, watched the video on it, RIP. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you mean.
The crazy thing about this mock, Jaden, is this is only half of it. It's going to be twice the size by the time I'm done. Qui-Gon, I'm scared. It was a bunch of super casual fans and 205 Live came on. I would say 75% of the arena left. So me and my brother ran up and got to see Charlotte. She is beautiful. Oh, yeah, dude, Charlotte is Charlotte is great. I'm sure her teeth are also very sharp. Hold on one sec. I got to grab some parts, guys. I am mad I stopped and got timed out. Sometimes you just gotta, we gotta make a point, man. Don't start the spam to begin with. Jay, I hope it doesn't seem like a big deal. I don't have much money to super chat. That's why I was worried about the super chat not working. I, I mean, if it didn't come through on my end, it didn't, it, it, I don't think, they, it, they wouldn't like take your money and have it not go through. So I think you should be good on that end. Me take a weekend trip. Yes, please. I know Ethan now, I mean, Ethan lives close to me, but he was saying he wanted to come over and see it whenever I um, finish this mock. Maybe I'll just do a day where I invite a bunch of people over to check out uh, Starkiller. Did you get wood for the table? No, I did not. I did not get wood for the table. Appreciate that, Dario Dulick. What do you think of the Pirates Bay Idea set? I think it looks great. That's a good looking set. Probably won't get it, but it is a good looking set. Why does everyone come here to get girl advice? Because I give good girl advice, Trevor. Why would they not come to me for girl advice? open house there's cookies snacks and potluck yes it's gonna be a boyo open house sesame street ideas set i would love to have an elbow minifigure how big will the mock be at the end? It'll be, I don't know, honestly. My goal at the beginning was to just have it be like, oh crap, well this fell off. Um, what, four gray base plates by 12? Might end up being a little bit bigger though. I don't know. Jay, I'm trying to get a baddie named Ayla secure. Any tips? Um, she, I think Ayla likes surprises, but nothing like too surprising. I.e., you don't want to just start shooting a blaster at her back because I don't think she would appreciate that. If you are going to shoot her, at least shoot her from the front so she sees it coming. How about I don't shoot her, but I do shoot my shot? I mean, yeah, shoot your shot. Just don't shoot her in the back, you know? Started building my Hobbit mock, ran out of 2x4 brown bricks, and I'm low on money. Um, if you're looking, I mean, 2x4 bricks, I mean, the cheapest way you can kind of get those is at the pick a brick wall, so I hope that's what you're using from them. Um, definitely UCS Slave 1, easily. Honestly, though, dude, before you try to talk to Ayla, just make sure her teeth are sharp. That's the only thing I would say. That's what I would do. But you can do what you want to do. Um, shout out to Chris Blank Productions for the $5 dono. You guys are feeling generous tonight. It says, looking good, especially the part you're working on. Yeah, I'm trying to get this thing to have some mounting points so we can actually get this connected to the wall. 
Appreciate that spin Jitsu Brick Productions. Thank you so much, man. Favorite idea set, uh, Back to the Future. My closest Lego store location doesn't have any. What? How does your Lego store not have a pick a brick wall? How is that even possible? That's not true. That's impossible. We want to get a shelf tour? Um, I don't know. What's up, Ghost and Doom Kung Fu? All right, so this one's mostly mounted. I mean, it's where it should be, I guess. Well, I, and I think it'll be a little bit, like, higher up. But, um... I'm down. I meant two by... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you mean. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I guess call around. I mean, how many... I know you have a few stores somewhat near you, right? Have you checked stores outside of that one for the two by four brown bricks? You're a monster. You're a monster. It's a shame Emperor Palp said to execute Order 66 when those captains and commanders wanted to... Uh, I'm not going to read that. What, what are you guys doing tonight? What Like, what is happening in the chat right now? Y'all are just out of control, all right? Appreciate that, Roanoke uh, Handy Buck. So I just realized, because this is going to be on the wall, I can actually get rid of a lot of the dark gray brick behind it. Dark gray brick's going to be very important for this mock, so I got to make sure I keep it on deck. You feel me? I think my favorite dessert is probably like Oreo cookies and milk. Is your mock going to be bigger than David Hall's mock? Um, I'm pretty sure as this mock is right now, this is half of it, it's already bigger than David's is going to be. Oh dear, it seems like the chat is making it a TV14 stream. I know, right? Guys, respect the stream. There are kids in there. Think about the children, all right? Think about the younglings. Put a Stormtrooper sniper up there. Oh my god. How long is the stream? I don't know. I guess however long it takes me to do this. Because I live in Florida on the West Coast and the closest store is two hours away. Then the other is Disney Springs, which is three hours away. Three hours. Oh my god, dude. I don't know about that. Jaden, stop saying that. If you don't know what's wrong with it, go ask your parents. They'll tell you. I'm not, it's not my responsibility to tell you that. What's up, Fluffy Ducks? Is there going to be Force Friday this year since there's no more Toy R Us? Yeah, there's going to be Triple Force Friday. Where have you been? Where have you Have you been living under a rock, Jai Bomb? Triple Force Friday, man. Get with it. When you need one brick in the Lego store is an hour away. That's totes worth. Where is Triple Force Friday? I mean, it's going to happen at, happening at every retailer, so um, Walmart, Target, Lego store. For you chat, make sure to think about the children and the droid attack on the Wookiees. Dude, what do you think of the indoor promo? Um, I mean, it's cool, I guess. Honestly, I've forgotten about it, which I guess probably shows just how much I like it. But it's not bad. I mean, it, it's. I think it's better than the Hoth one, for sure. How do you feel about iOS 13? I don't use an Apple device, nor would I ever, so I have no opinion. Gee, I talked to a fan of mine at a Lego store, at my Lego store, that's a huge fan of yours and David. Oh, wow, nice. If you see them again, tell them I said, what's up? How come no one ever told me that pick a brick cups were $15 a cup? I am ashamed. Have you never been to a Lego store? Yeah, it's all about Android, gang. Turn up. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Appreciate that, Isaiah. It's about to get even more insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Hey, shout out to everybody in the chat repping Android gang. Yes, I do have a Snapchat. I never use it though.
When the community came together to make David's clone army, imagine what huge mock we could all make. I always, like, pondered what type of thing, like, joint thing we could do like that. I would, I mean, we'd all meet at a convention. And I mean, like, Rebel Leg does this. I guess the legs kind of already do it. But basically have it be maybe more fan-centered. Like, a mock that we all contribute to in some way, but that's not, um... That's not something we have to, like, plan out a ton together, right? It's like, we come up with an idea, and, like, anyone coming to the convention can contribute to it, and it kind of all comes together to be a big Star Wars mod. But I don't know what. I heard a rumor that Darth Jar Jar is hidden up the Boyle Lounge tonight. <laughs> Bro, Darth Jar Jar can't get into the Boyle Lounge. Daddy Hill says, Rich Boy J, isn't your intro going to be a full song? Please do it. I might do that one day. Rich Boy J, I'm your father, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. It is pointless to resist. Okay. Are you taking uh, Star Killers to any other late conventions? Unfortunately, not. There's just no way for me to. I'm just. I'm, by the time this mock is done, there's not going to be any conventions like around that time. And sign in the membrane. I got in trouble for saying Trump was the 69th president. My geography teacher was mad. I didn't even know what it was at the time. Oh, wow. Talk about awkward. All right, see you light side, Kylo. How long did it take you to design the wall to protrusion part? Um, it actually took me a decent amount of time to come up with the design for it. Like, I spent a couple of nights like thinking really hard trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do for it. <coughs> the Republic clone army is superior to all. Bro, the Republic clone army is untrustworthy. Jay, should I get the pith for Fort... I don't even know what that is. What is that? All right, have fun doing chores, JB. I'm going to start working on a custom Coruscant police gunship. Nice. I honestly prefer the aesthetic of the uh, Imperial gunship. I don't know. I think the color scheme just works for it. Like, I always thought the color scheme was weird for the uh, Republic one. If you do it, can you do both both color schemes? Oh, Porg for forty dollars. Yes. Darth Vader, are you serious or are you yanking my chain? How many other mocks have you made? Um, a lot. In terms of big mocks like this, I've done crate. Bardos, Scarif. Also done a bunch of vehicles. I do it all. What was that sound? That was the, the sweet sound of revenge. Is this 
a giant Porgs take over a Starkiller base mock? Um, no, but I guess it can be. That sounds fun. It's a good idea. Have I talked to Brick Arms or Brick Mania to get a sponsor yet? No, I have not, unfortunately. What happened to your Let's Play series? That's a great question. Uh, we just haven't recorded anything in a while. I haven't given up on it or anything. We just haven't recorded videos for it. I need to do that. You know, it's kind of sad. This will be the last Star Wars Christmas season for about three years. I literally just said that, like, earlier on the stream. But yeah, exactly. Starkiller bases just knock off Death Star at long live the OG. Fair enough. Fair enough. Have you been on Beyond the Break? I've been on Beyond the Break, what, like, five times now? Because I got it for Scarif, Crate, ATM6, Falcon... And Vardos. Yeah, five times. No, not Vardos. Starkiller. I swear, I've never seen a chat with 69 written so many times. Y'all are nasty. I don't even know what that is. Hey guys, Rich Boy J here, and I'm in my basement with my brand new Starkiller base. <laughs> Knowledge. So I'm curious, what's the last Lego set you guys bought? If you put wheels on Star Killer, that would be an eight person car. That's a great point, yeah. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Um, no, this is not my basement. And if it was, I mean, behind me are stairs, but they're going down. So it wouldn't really make sense for it to be my basement, right? Um, no, nah, this is my game room. Alright, take <laughs> several. Y'all are bad. Y'all are a bad influence. I hope my mom doesn't see this stream. She's going to tell me I can't stream anymore because you guys. Last Lego set I bought was a 2013 Mandalorian speeder. I want it in Metal Legs Mall. How many bricks of an estimate have you used for this mock? I have no idea. It's so I mean it's it's so hard to tell at this point. There's so many. I'll guess maybe somewhere in the fifty thousand range, maybe. Then that's such a rough guess. And man, not this past Tuesday, but Tuesday before, I got the heavy assault walker for seventy four. Nice. It's a good it's a good deal. What's the rarest minifig you have minus Endor Luke? Is Endor Luke a rare well which one? The one from um Ewok Village? I guess that's kind of a rare figure. I guess I keep so someone asked me. What was the most expensive minifigure I had? And I've always said um, Padme, the Queen Amidala figure. And I totally forgot that I actually own the Cloud City Luke now. So that's officially the most expensive figure I own. How much do your mocks cost approximately? I have no idea. Of all the mocks I've done, I, I haven't counted. Because I don't think I want to know, honestly. Bro, where's the 501st battle pack we've been asking for? 
Is that Area 51, man? I'm sorry, Area 501. Yo, that OG Lego Gaunt droid is bae. How long have I been streaming, guys? I don't know. And no, it's not going to happen anytime soon. That's become very clear. I see a sellout studios. Biggest mock you've made, um, crate definitely. I don't know. Honestly, it might be a toss up between crate and Vardos. Crate took up more space, but Vardos had more large buildings. So I don't know. How did you guys feel about Vader's choke on your aspirations pun in Rogue One? Jazz showed all the kids at my school the 501st rap. They laughed at it. How dare they? Don't they understand how serious that is? They just don't get it, bro. Do you know Lucas Projects and Malin Garrick? Um, I know Lucas Projects or Luca S Projects. Malin Garrick sounds familiar, but I don't. I couldn't tell you what they built. I hope you told them this is no laughing matter. When you plan to do another guest live stream? Someone asked that earlier. Um, I'm not sure. I was probably, maybe sometime next week I can do it. What's up, Daniel Ross? How you doing, bro? Do you think you ever team up with Solid Bricks? I have no doubt that someday David and I will do a mock together. As for when that will happen, I have no idea. But I, I feel it will happen. I hope you reach 20k by the end of the year. Yeah, I do too. I mean, from the from how my channel's been doing recently, it looks very possible. I'm gonna hit 18,000 pretty soon. Oh, can we talk about how annoying it is that YouTube abbreviates subscriber counts now? I haven't really talked about that on my stream ever. But, um... That is so annoying. That is so annoying. Oh, Malin Garrick did that Felucia. Okay, I, okay, I got gotcha. you. I know who that is. If you and David do a mock together, it would have to be something ginormous. I wonder what David and I would build together. Maybe we can talk about that at some point. If I bring David on, we can talk about what we would actually build together. Because David and I don't actually share a lot of common Star Wars interests, unfortunately. So we'd really have to think about that one. Jay, what do you think of my sick fig? I said earlier I liked it. I just couldn't tell what was written on it. Camino would be fun. Camino would be very fun. I wonder if he'd be willing to redo um, Kashyyyk as a collaboration. Either way, I've been talking to them and we get along very well because we're all shit builders. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. And thanks for coming through, Ali Mimon. Harrison Davis, what's going on, dude? It's working on this mock, adding this. I don't even know. Can someone. What should I call this thing? I just have been referring to it as a protrusion, but like, what exactly could I refer to this as? I would love to team up with Chris to do a mock if he ever decides to build again. David's going to want to do a Halo mock. <laughs> uh, Trevor, were you there for that stream? Do you think ATM6 would fit in this mock? Nah, it's way too big. If the ATM6 was sitting on this table, it would be like as tall as this building. Are you going to build the oscillator? Yes. What's up, Brick Kid? 
feel like I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing, man? I'm just a guy who's... Wait, I'm a guy that's 24. Each day I build some more. I like the sequels. I'm Rich Boy J. How you doing, bro? What's up, the trending brick? How you doing, dude? Turret's going pretty well. I've been working on it in LDD. Right now, I'm working on connecting these to the actual build. You and David could build an office diorama. Does David like the office? When stream, uh, which stream? He said his dream mock would be a Halo mock. The get calls himself. Yeah, that stream. The tie hangers of Starkiller base must be added. Oh, absolutely. That's going to be actually a very large part of this mock. The hanger with the tie fighter. What mock would you build if you had a million dollars? I would do Geonosis. I would buy every single dark orange brick that exists. About to finish my Hoth build on Minecraft, I think I'll do Endor next. How extensive is your Hoth build on Minecraft? What's up, Samuel Norris? How you doing, man? Are you going to build the massive cannon? What are the plans? Um, if you're talking about the thing that like actually blows up the planets, probably not. Time to start scratching off these lottery tickets. Yes. Send me your lottery tickets, guys. Let's help Rich Boy Jay get a million dollars so he can build Geonosis. What about the interior of the resurgent class we see in Star Wars 7? Are you talking about the hangar from that? Or are you just talking about like the rooms we see? Are you asking if I would want to build that? You can turn this mock into a Battlefront 2 mock by adding a T-posing General Grievous. I still haven't seen this drop. Did they drop the video like while I was streaming? Because everyone's been asking about it and I haven't seen it yet. Oh, cool. I got a 2015 or 2016, don't remember, in one Starfighter set. I think it was 2015 when that came out. For free, wow. You had a nice friend there. The hanger in the last shot would be kind of fun, not a bad idea. Oh, yeah. That hanger would be so cool to make. It would just, like, I mean, that would actually be a really impressive build if you could even build it with a, with a ceiling and have, like, AT-ATs hanging from it. But that would be such a tough build. What store do you think you'll get the new episode 9 sets at? I'm not sure, honestly. Awfully. Any tips for making a mock of this scale? <laughs> Buy a lot of parts. You and Solid Brick should do Alderaan. Oof. Too soon, man. Brick Vault's dropship should be drop kicked. Aw, oh, come on, Mason. Mason, I want to make a rule. Every time you come to my stream, you have to say something nice about anything. Is an AT-AT going to be in the mock? No. The massive shield generator of indoor bunker and the landing platform. I would love to build that. I mean, Brick Plumber already did such an incredible job on that, though. Many fixed scale planet. All right. 
If I did a minifig scale planet, I would do the planet from Rick and Morty. And was it the end of season two? When they're like looking for somewhere to live and they find the really tiny planet that like you can walk around. I think I could do that on minifig scale. Would I do a collaboration with Trevor? Uh, I don't know. Are you a good builder? What are some Lego YouTubers you suggest checking out? Um, the Brickwiz? <laughs> Garrett Bricks? <laughs> I don't know. What's up, Seth? How you doing, man? Hello there. Solo. Solo. Why name? Slimo. My name's not Rick. Phantom Mentis, Phantom Menace is overhated. Nah, it's overrated and underhated. Why are you trying to pick fights, Jai Bob? We're having a nice, clean conversation. Now you're gonna make me have to talk about the Phantom Menace. Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> this stick got stuck in my hair. I was like, what the heck is on me? <sighs> Jay, you really need to do a Clone Wars mock. I will get you all the figures you need. Follow first, Wolfpack, or Shock. Will you really? If you can assemble me 50 of any of those figures, I'll do it. How about that? If you ever do a Clone Wars mock, I'd really like to be in it. Seems you're going to be in all my mocks, Jedi Bond. I guess the only one you weren't in was Crate, right? If we all send him our lottery tickets, he has to build the life-size board. Yo, that would be the most insane mock ever. That would be the most insane mock ever. Could you imagine if I took that to a convention? I want to build a life-size Boyo Lounge, guys. 50 shocks for $7. Well, how, where are you going to find 50 shock troopers for $7 each? I'm actually curious about that. I know how. Is that legal? Or are you going to make it legal? A secret. Oh, okay. I 
can confirm illegal. Trevor, don't involve me in your scheme. Alright? I sense a plot to destroy Rich Boy J. What's up, Tristan Johnson? Utapau would be awesome. Maybe maybe David and I could do that. David and I could definitely do an Utapau lock. Make a Sullust mod. I feel like so many people do Sullust. Hey, shout out to Dan Dan sixty one fifty one. Says make the Senate great again. How are we, how are we gonna make the Senate great again without my boy? Because it feels so empty without Sheev. Oof, just broke one of my mom's Starbucks mugs and her friend gave it to her and it's out of production. Bro, just blame it on the Jedi. That's what she would do. What's up, Alessandro Luci Luci Luciani? Alright, see a ghost and doom kung fu. Do you think we'll ever get Lego WWF? Unfortunately, I don't think so. I don't think so. I would love it, but I don't think so. Sorry, bro. Who needs Lego WWF when you got Lego Extreme Lego Wrestling? That's all the Lego wrestling you'll ever need. Whichever built in that boo. Yes. If you had to buy one Lego set for the rest of your life, what would it be? It can't be a battle pack. Like, I just have to keep rebuying it? I guess I'll just get, like, the UCS Millennium Falcon, because, I don't know. It's a big set. It has a lot of parts. So I didn't realize we were going to ignore the fact that there was Le a Lego Naruto line. What are we? T what is happening in the chat right now? It says Extreme Lego Wrestling hasn't been on in like three years, but it's still good. I mean, WWF technically hasn't been on TV in like, what, 19 years, 18 years? How much in Empire Star Destroyer if they, what? I don't understand that question. Rich Boy, take a General Grievous minifigure and stack up 200 arms <laughs> for your next mod. My goodness! I see. Okay, Trevor. I mean, that's that looks like it'd be more than seven bucks, though. It looks like it'd be slightly over seven bucks. I'm not a big fan of porgs. Is it understandable or just terrible? How can you not be a big fan of porgs? They're so cute. Growing up, I always had a fascination for Gravedigger. Dude, Gravedigger was the goat. If you don't like porgs, you probably have no soul. No offense. I'm just saying. Okay, so this thing's on here, and that's cool. Well, still average will be around 20 bucks. 20 bucks, what do you mean? Porgs or life. How many Star Destroyers could the Empire have made if they didn't build the Death Star? Oh, I see, I see, I see. I don't know, a lot. But could they blow up a planet? Probably not. What's up, Jake Turka? I 
I'll be right back. I need to grab some two by four bricks. Jay, next mock is that scene from the trailer with hundreds of ISDs. I better get started. Everyone, bring your UCS Imperial Star Destroyer to Brick World. We're going to recreate that scene from uh, the trailer of Rise of Skywalker. I want to see how many UCS Star Destroyers we can have in one place. Jedi Bob, I would love to do a Spongebob mock. The problem is there aren't enough, like, generic fish minifigs, you know? Have you gotten any interior done? No, I have not. And yes, there will be a trench. The average shock uh, trooper are selling for around 20 bucks. I will contribute. I want to buy 10 for... Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. How many of those gunships do you plan on building? That doesn't sound like real Lego. It's all knockoffs. Sorry, bro. Of course it's real Lego. Do you know what it would do to my reputation if it was found out that I wasn't using real Lego? That would destroy me. Just two, they should have eight. Oh, okay, I gotcha. How many parts do you expect that build to be? It's not a small ship. Jay, do you listen to Logic? Not really, no. I need proof it's real Lego. My word should be proof enough. I got clout. Bro, porgs are so cute and adorable. Imagine thinking Mega Bloks or another knockoff company. Anyone who thinks that has no soul. But Squidward, Krabby Patties are good for your soul. I have no soul. It's kind of a small ship in Mayfix scale. It's only 10.3 inches in length. I mean, that's, I would consider that a decently sized vehicle. Arc AK-47's full of 11's, blacks and knives. It took me a while to figure out what you were trying to say. Sorry for my unserious question last week. It's fine, bro. It's all good. How many mini figs do you have in total? I don't know. A lot. Alright, see you, Jaden. Take care, man. Are you going to make your own X Wings for the trench run? No, I'm using Enthert's. That boy Enthert got me covered. about building big is it becomes certain things just don't fit together perfectly like it should 
So you really gotta use the force. <laughs> get it. 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 <sighs> Dude, I honestly I have no idea how many parts I've used so far. Many thousands. It says your poor laptop, just make sure the bricks are studs up. Oh, because I have the brick sitting on it. Ah, uh, Mason gets it. He's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. Yo, Mason is my homie. Brick Builder Watt says, I just want a 50505 first battle pack. I already got an AT RT and a Captain Rex. He keeps glitching. Ha, ha. Get it? Hoopla! 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 Boop! What's up, Stormy Builds? Why'd you change your name? We never talked about that. The artist formerly known as Stormy Bricks. Jay, do you cut flex tube all the time? I have no reservations cutting flex tube. Do you? I don't have a problem with cutting flex tube because, for one, it comes in so many sizes. And two, um, the original was it Eiffel Tower actually required you to cut flex tubing. So it's technically not an illegal technique. I would never drop test the porg. That's like asking, that's like going up to someone and saying, hey, will you drop test your baby? I want to see how sturdy your baby is. Come on, man. Yeah, I did see the new orange X-Wing. It looks dope. Because bricks implies I have Lego. Builds implies I'm, I means I make stuffs. So you're not going to have an exclusively Lego channel. I cut flex tube. Jarek does it. Yeah, sometimes you just got to cut that flex tube, bro. Just got to cut it. Cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Jay, will you drop test your baby? No! You guys are monsters. Jay, where's your girlfriend? Hopefully my future wife is somewhere out there right now sharpening her teeth. That's the best thing I could I could ask for. That I meet a girl with properly maintained sharp teeth. I just want a girl with some sharp teeth, guys. Is that too much to ask for? Where are the girls with the sharp teeth nowadays? Yusefo says, I like potatoes. Why is it not letting you send me something on Insta? What are you trying to send me? Brick Builder Watt says, a girl with sharp teeth needs to be the name of the... Yo, that's not a bad idea. I just want a girl with sharp, 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 sharp teeth. Your mock seems to be around 100 to 150 bricks. Thank you, Mason. Finally, someone counts for me. What do you use flex tubes for and where do you get some? I've been thinking about using flex tubes just uh, to try it. Not sure what for. I mean, there's so many things you can use it for. Like any type of like piping or like tubing you need in a mock like flex tubing is the way to go um i use here i can show you exactly what i use it for on this mock over here Ugh. 
So you can see here on my um, first order, oh, the gun's off. On my first order transporter, that's flex tubing right there. It kind of, it surrounds a little thing where you can stand a minifigure up in there. So that's what I used it for on this mock. Can we show some appreciation for my first order transporter? This thing is, this thing is a beauty. I love this thing so much. I don't get to show it enough love. Appreciate that, JB. Whoever said I look like Rihanna, thank you. Yeah, this thing, I love this thing. Jay, did you ever end up buying the uh, LVG bucket handle? Nope. I sure did not. Yo, Trevor, you probably know this. Is Bricks and Pieces back, like, online yet? What I mean by that is, are, are they letting us make purchases from it again? Because I know they had shut it down for a while. Because I need to check and see if those light bluish gray um, lever pieces are on there. Um, the transporter is, I honestly don't remember, maybe around 2,000 pieces? I really don't remember. I feel like I'd remember that kind of thing. Trending Brick says, yes, it's up. Okay, cool. Actually, then, can someone do this for me right now? Check um, Bricks and Pieces, look up the new UCS Star Destroyer, and see if the uh, light bluish gray lever pieces are available for purchase. I'd love to have the job of completing bricks and pieces order. Really? I mean, it'd be cool to, like, be there around all those parts, but, like, having to do that all day sounds kind of miserable. Can someone check on those light bluish gray levers for me and the new Star Destroyer? I would certainly appreciate it. Trevor knows exactly what I'm talking about, so... Trevor, you should probably do it. <laughs> What's up, Obi-Wan Kenobi? Obi-Wan can also check the light bluish gray bucket piece, the ones that are used for the smaller engines. That was a rare piece. I'm trying to think of what else is rare. So, dude, I hate placing my orders. I've never actually bought anything from Bricks and Pieces. JB says it's not on Bricks and Pieces yet. You mean the actual, like, the set? Like, you can't buy parts from the set yet? Oh, okay, I see. Appreciate that, JB. Thanks for looking. I guess uh, maybe next week we can check it. Thank you guys for looking, uh, checking for me. I was also looking for those light bluish gray BB-8 heads. Is that in the set? I honestly didn't even notice that. Do they have that in, did they make that for the Star Destroyer? What big mock is next? I don't know yet, man. I don't know yet. My old YouTube channel name was uh, J Boy. I'm tired of standing over there, so we're gonna switch gears to this side of the mock. Jay, what pieces did you need? I looked up the bucket. I they have it in gray. If you meant the minifig bucket. No, not the minifig bucket. It's a bigger bucket. It's used for the engines on the Star Destroyer. Like, if you look at the UCS Star Destroyer, it's the smaller... Um, it's the, sm the the pieces used for the smaller engines, the four smaller ones. There's like this big like bucket piece in light bluish gray that I'm pretty sure was only in the original Star Destroyer at first, and now it's back in the new one. Trevor says, that's not up on Bricklink yet. The levers haven't dropped much in price, and the figures from the Star Destroyers are $100 plus. Oh my god. 
What has Garrett built on this mock? Um, he helped. <laughs> he hasn't built much. I think he helped build the border of it. The one day he was here to work on it. I think it's safe to say this is pretty much just a, a rich boy J mock at this point. Um, but it lo that looks cool. Like I like the way that lo that section over there looks. I'm actually a fan of that. It makes that wall look a lot more interesting. And I think once one the turret is up and two once the um, mountains are behind it, it's gonna look really good. Any idea how to make a bubble turret for an episode two gunship? That's that's a great question. I don't know. I'd really have to think about that. I mean, the question is, do you want it to like be an actual like circle, like an actual like clear sphere, or are you okay with brick building it? That's the biggest question. Uh, the first order banner actually didn't take too long to build. I mean, placing the tiles was kind of annoying, but the actual logo on it was just a sticker that I bought from someone, and they um, also made these stickers right here that go on these. So check that out. That's that's cool, isn't it? Oh, okay, thanks for looking, JP. I appreciate that, man. He says, so Garrett offered to help you build the mock if he could leave the closet, and then after a day he eat. <laughs> That's a good addition to Garrett lore. I'll, I'll accept that. What's up, Fat Yoshi? <laughs> oh my, how do you guys come up with these names, I swear? I'm fine with brick building it since it, um, that seems to be the only way how... Um, yeah, so, I don't know. Honestly, flex tubing might be a decent way to do it. It's a very, it's a way to get, like, smooth curves on it, you know? Appreciate that, Obi-Wan Kenobi. How many more troopers do you need for the platform? Probably like a hundred more stormtroopers. I honestly haven't even thought about that. I know my guy uh, Lego Soldier eighty two sent me a bunch. I haven't like gone through and counted them, but that will certainly help with the platform. Thoughts on Papa Murphy's Pizza? I honestly have no idea what that is. I uh, do you like my leg Harry Potter sets? Um, I think, I mean, I don't really know anything about Harry Potter, but the sets look cool. I love the, what they're doing with Hogwarts, like with the, the big sets that can all connect together. Stormy, you have a job? I'm so proud. I never imagined my little Stormy would be a working man, providing for his family. My family. Favorite pizza place? We have this place here in Houston called Russo's. It's really good. How big is the mock? Right now the mock is, uh, I always, I always ask, let six feet by more than six, I don't know, man. Six feet by six feet, maybe. Looks bigger than that. It's a little over six feet by six feet right now, I guess. Hey, Jay, I removed your comment on my giveaway. It seemed like it seemed you like Cho Chang. I have a duplicate of her. Would you want me to send it to you? Oh, no, that's fine. I think I actually ended up getting that figure. What's up, Obi-Wan Kenobi? I will notice you. Basket parts in LBG aren't that available, but they're not going to be that expensive. Where are they only in the original uh, ISD? I stopped eating Chick-fil-A after finding out their nuggets were literally baby porglets. That's the saddest thing I've heard all day. 
as cute as porgs are, if they're delicious, I have no problem eating them. Sometimes you just gotta eat your pet. That's how the cookie crumbles. Would you like it if Lego made a clone commando minifig? Oh, yes. Delta Squad, heck yeah. I just saw your text, Trevor. Dude, the prices they're asking for those minifigs from this ISD is ridiculous. I'm not a porg killer per se, but I mean, if it's already dead, why not, you know, kill two birds with one stone and eat it? No pun intended. The baskets were only on the original ISD, but the new ones are a different style. They have an anti-stud in the middle. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Okay, so it's actually a new part. It's probably going to be expensive then, unless they plan it. I mean, I would imagine they probably will put it in different sets. But for the, in the meantime, it will probably be at least a little expensive if it's only in that ISD. What do you think of the new Lego Star Wars game? Um, I'm excited for it. I can't see Jay as fall as we know he could be shirtless going full Gibby style. But I could never have as much swag as Gibby. While they got the parts for the new ISD on Bricklink really fast. I wonder if, like, I mean, I don't know. I wonder how they do that. Like, do they just have to have someone, like, look at the parts list for every set that comes out and catalog it, like, manually? Or I wonder if there's some way to do to make that easier. Only seller has them in France for three oh five. How much are the old ones? Like if I wanted to buy however many, I don't know. Alright, see you Spinji Two Brick Productions. Thanks for everything tonight, man. Take care. And see you Ali Mimon. What do you think about Kevin Feige making a Star Wars movie? Um, I guess we'll see how it goes. I mean I don't dislike the idea, but I don't know. I don't know what to make of that news, to be honest. Favorite Lego Stars figure ever released? The Special Forces First Order TIE Pilot. All right, have fun with your ramen, that one guy. I know y'all like the banners. You know, I, I got to flex the banners. Some good looking banners. I want to get all the sets on uh, Triple Force Friday. Make a global warming protest on Star Killer. <laughs> Tristan, what is the game with mod that I might like? No, they're not double sided. Dude, some Germany seller has the. 3000 but the average price for them is still $20. How does he have 3000 of that? I mean, I know the Germans end up with just weird quantities of parts, but that is insane, dude. Check his store. Does he have other, like, exclusive parts to that Star Destroyer? Like, in ridiculous quantities? I prefer octagons. Bro, no. Hexagons are way better than octagons. I'm right here. Do I like the new hood piece? Yes. I want to talk about that in my video tomorrow, but I actually love the new hood piece. It's been way overdue.
I'm hiding from the police. I'm hiding from Conja Club. Favorite out of the episode nine sets, the Kylo Ren command shuttle, definitely. What's up, Dalek? Where the heck have you been? It's like you don't even care about the Lego community anymore. I never see you anymore. Why did you rob a house in one of your videos? Because I needed money, all right? Things are expensive. Do yeah, you hype met or annoyed at the release of Minions? I mean, I don't really care, but it's kind of funny. It'll make for some good Easter eggs. I was on maternity leave. Oh, okay, that that's understandable then. I prefer older and newer Star Wars sets. Definitely newer Star Wars sets. I feel the same way, Josiah. I have no interest in having another ATST, another Lego ATST in my collection, but I'll get it for the figs. It says the same seller has 53 of the moon rock piece and elbow. Okay, so he definitely ended up with a bunch of Star Destroyers somehow. That's ridiculous. Jay, how much does one have to donate to make Jay plank on top of Starkiller? Uh, just uh, probably like Tree Fitty. Good old Tree Fitty. It never really, like, annoyed me that the Phase 2 helmets don't have the antenna holes. 500 cents. <laughs> I want to get that piece custom made. Like, I want someone to to uh, make that piece. Wait, I guess I would need, like, a 2x3 um, pearl gold tile, which I doubt exists. But and, and I had someone custom print 500 cents on it. Whenever I do my pod race mock, I will definitely get that piece custom made. The game is Men of War Assault Squad 2 with Galaxy of War mod. Huh. Second favorite Lego theme, um, Creator Expert, exclusively for the modulars. I think I'm going to call it a night, guys. I'm, like, yawning a lot. I'm actually quite tired, and I have to work tomorrow. So, um, I got some pretty good progress done. Like, the fact that that thing is mounted is actually a big deal, because, um, it looks cool. I think it looks really cool, actually. I'm pretty excited that it's finally there. Um, Jay, have you ever have <laughs> Jay, you ever have a replica belt also buy? So I have one. It's not a rep it's a replica commemorative belt, so it's not the uh, metal belt, but it's a plastic belt, but it's the same size as like the belts you'd see on TV. I have the uh, the old world heavyweight title. It was like 130 bucks. Any post credit scene you did it once, I haven't since. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta feel it. I gotta really feel it, man. I don't. I promise I'll have a post credit scene for you guys very soon. But um, yeah. Good night, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. It was a good time, I think, and got some good work done. Um, you guys will tomorrow. I'm gonna drop a video. Um, so actually, before. Too many of you head out. I would love to gauge the interest in this. So obviously, 
they finally revealed the episode nine sets, which means we can actually openly talk about them on YouTube and make videos about them. Um, I just, and I'm interested in knowing, like, how many of you at this point care to see, like, a video of me giving, like, an in-depth analysis on them? I mean, I don't have the sets yet, but, like, there are reviews of the sets out there. Like, do you, would you guys still find something like that valuable, or do you think it's kind of too late for something like that? Fat Yoshi says, I would love to see a video. If you put your J spit on the video, death posted. Okay. Yeah, do a pre review. Okay. I guess, yeah, I was just making sure that that's something. Like, it doesn't, like, you, it wouldn't come out and it'd be like, like, why watch it if it, you know, when there's already reviews out of it? Um, but I'm, I'll definitely still do a review like that. It says, I'll watch any video you put out because I want to know your opinion because you come from a mock builder's perspective. I'm glad you appreciate that. I I'm always try to make sure with any of those types of videos that I do to, like, really go in-depth on, like, the parts and techniques and, you know, kind of, I don't know, infer what they could mean from, like, a Star Wars fan's perspective. So, um, you guys can expect to see that video tomorrow and then a Star Killer update the next day. So, um, this is an actual goodbye. See, there you go. That was your post credit scene, guys. Um, so stop asking me for it. You just got it. No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, take care, guys. Thanks all of you for tuning in. I really appreciate it.